Hi everyone! I made this video to help teachers who want to try using Boom Cards but need a bit of help navigating through the site. It's super simple, but I know learning new things online can be daunting. So this video will include the most essential things for you to know in a step-by-step -step format. So I hope this helps you. And if it does, please share it with your friends or colleagues who want to try Boom Cards. And if you want to skip to certain bits, I put the timestamps in the description for your convenience. Right, so these are the things I'm going to show you today. How to sign up, how to create a profile, how to add students to your classroom, how to set usernames and passwords for your students, and how to get free cards to start with, which is very important, um, how to organize your library once you start collecting more cards, how to assign decks to your students, and how to differentiate, um, how to, oh, the page that your students will see when they log in. And I'm going to show you how you can monitor your students' progress. And I'm also going to show you, or rather give you a letter that you can send out um, to the parents and your students to, to continue this at home. All right, then let's get started. When you go to the homepage, boomlearning.com, you have to, of course, sign up first. It's free to join, though you get additional perks if you buy a premium membership. As of today, Boom Learning is offering a free temporary membership, which allows you to assign cards up to 200 students and also monitor their progress. You could even create your own if you want to. So let's go ahead and sign up. After you sign in, the first thing it'll ask you to do is to type in your name. Use a name that your students typically call you so it's easily recognizable. Only your students and parents will see this. Now, let's create your first classroom. Click New Classroom. And I'm going to go ahead and change my username and password to something that I can remember. And I'm going to lock it because I don't want my students to create new accounts or change their nicknames. You might be a parent who just wants to add your own child, in which case you can click New Student. But if you are a teacher who wants to add multiple students, it'll be much quicker to click Add Many Students. If this is your very first time adding students, it'll ask you to confirm your email address. Go to Teacher Info and type in your email address to get the confirmation message. Once you've confirmed your email address, you can add your students. You can set a default password and your students can have them changed when they log in or you can set up passwords for them, which I'll show you next. This is what I usually do. Now that you've added all of your students, you can set their usernames and passwords. I like to keep mine straightforward or memorable so that students don't forget easily. So here we are. How can you assign cards when you don't have one? So let me show you how you can get free cards to begin with so that you can test it out before you go all in. If you go to library, you'll see a button that says show me free stuff. Click that and it'll show you all of the free cards that are offered by various authors on Boom's platform. On the left, you can refine your search by subject and grade level too. Look through them and see if you can find some amazing authors or you may find a store that is perfect for you, in which case I suggest you follow it. At this time, I'm offering quite a lot of my paid phone resources for free due to the current circumstances. I know a lot of teachers and parents are struggling to put together resources to make distance learning more meaningful right now, so I created a free library of Boom cards to help you get started. You can download them all and keep them forever, even when I change them back for sale in the future. Just go to my store on Teachers by Teachers, it's Tiny Teaching Shack by the way, and click the banner to take you to the library. Click any deck of your choice, or all of them, and it'll put that deck straight into your library. In this library, you'll find Boom Cards for 1st grade math, phonics, 1st grade grammar, and 2nd grade grammar, and I hope to add a few more in the coming weeks. When you click the deck of your choice, it'll take you to your Boom page. Just verify that it's you, then the deck will be stored in your library. Here, let's do another one. Short A words. Easy, right?
If you have many cards and your library begins to look disorganized, I advise you to put them into categories. In your library on the left side, you'll see folders. Click new folder and you'll be able to categorize your cards which will make your life much easier once you start collecting more cards. You can just drag and drop the decks into your folders to organize them like this. Now that you've got some decks in your library, let's assign them to your students. There are two different ways you can assign them to your students. If you want everyone in your class to work on the same deck, you can go to the library, click Action button next to the card of your choice, and select your classroom. The second option is when you want to differentiate. Go back to your classroom and click the arrow next to their name and click Assign. By doing this, you are selecting assignments for individual students, which makes it brilliant for differentiation. For example, I want Alison to work on multiple meaning words and Jose to work on multiple meaning words. But I want John to work on just CBC short A words, like that. That was easy, right? You must wonder what students will see when they log in, so let me show you an example. Look at Jose here. His username is Jose101 and password is Happy Hippo. Remember that? Do make a spreadsheet of everyone's usernames and passwords so you can keep track of them. Um, when students go to boomlearning.com, they'll click sign in and then click sign in with Boom. Type in the username Jose101 and the password. Remember, Happy Hippo. Now this is the page that Jose will see. You can see all of the decks I've assigned to him. He can change his avatar if he wants, which can be fun for the kids. And he can click any of the cards assigned to him and complete them at his own pace. On this page, it'll show a check mark if he has completed the deck. Let's say that Jose worked on 2D shapes. As you can see, boom cards are self-checking, so your students will know when they get their answers right or wrong. Once he's completed his cards, he'll get a green check mark to show that he's completed it. It also shows that he got 20 out of 24 questions right, and he can try it again if he wants. Who loves data? Because this is the exciting bit. You can check on an individual student's progress by clicking the arrow next to their name and click report. You can select the cards that your student has completed and check for its accuracy and the time spent on each question. If you click the red bars, you'll be able to see exactly which questions he got wrong. You can also see if he's taken especially long time trying to work out a problem. All of this data will help you understand what your students need. Maybe they need a review or maybe they need something more challenging. If you want to get the overall class report on certain decks, click reports at the top and choose the deck and the classroom. Because this is a big classroom, you can only see Jose's report, but normally you'll be able to see the full report of all of your students. You can print this page or export the file for your record. Teachers who use Boom Cards in their classroom definitely enjoy this feature because assessing becomes so quick and easy. I've created a free letter to send home with your students so that their parents or guardians can help them access the Boom Cards at home. You can write in their usernames and passwords on the letter so that they don't forget. You can get this in my store on TeachersPayTeachers.com. Just find Tiny Teaching Shack, click Freebies, and scroll down to find the letter. All you have to do is download it, write their usernames and passwords, and send them home. I'll make sure to put the link in the description. I hope that answered all of your questions about how to get started on Boom Learning. Go ahead and check out the free cards on boomlearning.com or visit my Teachers Pay Teachers store and download that free Boom Car library and get started. If you want to check out all of my resources, you can visit my Boom store. I'll provide a link to my store in the description box below. 
Check out the topics on the left side to find what you need. And most definitely check out the bundles because it's always cheaper to get the bundle than the individual decks. Good luck and have fun! Thanks for watching!